OK, let's have a look at some uh, Golang uh, uh, integration with uh, cryptography. So the examples here are mainly in Python. Python's a great language for uh, uh, quickly setting up uh, some code. But Golang has real advantages in terms of speed over uh, over Python and generally in the in the robustness of the code. So if you're interested, there's some uh, Go uh, Lang examples here. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the elliptic curve uh, Diffie-Hellman code. Uh, here it is here. <coughs> if you remember elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman, uh, we have a curve uh, and we have a base point G and then uh, Alice uh, takes a random value A, multiplies it by G. Well, she actually adds G, the G point A times, but we'll call it A G. And then uh, Bob does the same. He takes a B value, becomes B G. And then the exchange values and the in the end we get A B G is the shared value. OK, so uh, we'll do that. There's the there's the scalar there <coughs> uh, to get this shared secret. And then we'll just convert uh, the shared secret into 256-bit key in the end. OK, so I'm just going to copy this here. Uh, <coughs> it should also give us um, some of the parameters that we're using. Uh, if you remember, uh, then we have uh, a uh, the G point, uh, the prime number, and uh, N is the is the order. Okay, so I'm just going to call it elliptic curve to Helman dot go. <laughs> Sorry, and I just paste it in there, <coughs> and there's our code. So that looks okay. Uh, so Golang is a little bit like uh, C, C code, but uh, it's much simpler to, to compile. So we compile it with ecdh.go. Okay, so this will compile the code. Hopefully it will work and it won't give us any errors. Okay, that's good. And that produces an executable file called ecdh. Then it's there. Uh, it's executable code, and uh, so you can see it's executable then. Okay, so we'll now run that and see what we get. And there it is there. Okay, so our sample run uh, shows there's the name of the curve that we're using, there's the prime number we're using, and there is the base point, the G, and the X <coughs> for that. Okay, there's the private key that uh, the A value for Alice and there's the B value for Bob. Then when they exchange, uh, they should end up with the same shared key here and they do. Okay, so that's been a brief introduction to, to Golang.